morning guys so today I'm going to walk you guys through my 6 a.m. morning routine I do not get up at 6 a.m. every single day but just on the days that I want to be extra productive or just get a lot done and have kind of a bigger to-do list I like to get up at 6 a.m. and get my day started so the first thing I do is just reach over and drink lots of water I always have my cold hydro flask right next to me so I can drink up, it just gets the metabolism going and it's so refreshing in the morning and then I like to head straight over to my desk and do some morning journaling. This has been a part of my like New Year's resolution is to just do more writing, whether it's gratitude or just, you know, morning pages, anything like that, just to kind of like get my day started off on the right foot and feel a lot more refreshed and I like to put on my Spotify music in the background and just kind of zen out and be a little bit away from my screen especially to the start of my morning and then I head over to this little what I like to call my brain dumping notebook and I'll just create a to-do list for the day I just find that this helps me stay on track and just makes me like feel a lot more organized knowing that I have all these things that I want to get done and just putting it from my head to paper makes it a lot easier for me to physically see what I want to accomplish throughout the day then it is time to head into my morning self-care a lot of it i do in the shower which i'll show you guys later on but before anything else the first thing i do is brush my teeth of course i want to have fresh good smelling breaths and then i just head back to my room and make my bed i love making my bed it makes my room look so clean and also first things first it doesn't make me want to just like crawl back in and hop in my bed so always make the bed it looks for clean look and then I just head over to my closet and grab some workout clothes this is a set from Lululemon that I love to wear um, so yeah I just popped on this blue set and headed off to the gym So now that I'm at the gym, I'm just going to get started with my workout. I typically work out 45 minutes to an hour and I do whatever I'm feeling, but I like to start out every workout doing a warm up. So I just walk on the treadmill at an incline of 12 and then I do 5.8 miles per hour, but this was obviously in kilometers per hour. And then, like I said, it depends on what I'm feeling. So today I wanted to work out my arms. So I'll just show you guys the workout that I do I'll just have it on the screen and there's no like any app or any workout I follow at all I honestly just do what I'm in the mood for and what's fun because I find that every time you go to the gym or you're working out whatever it should be fun and it shouldn't be like painful or something you don't look forward to doing so I just kind of make it up as I go and I find that this is like the way I have the most fun when I go to the gym um, typically for workouts I really like going to workout classes but ever since I've been in Australia I've really been enjoying doing my own little gym workouts so that's been fun and then of course before I leave the gym you need to stretch 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 I find that if I don't stretch I'm so insanely sore and tight the following day so make sure you stretch before and after your workout always <music> And 
And then of course, right when I get back from the gym, I like to shower and typically I'll just take like a body shower since it's in the morning time obviously, but today I really wanted to wash my hair and I've actually been getting a ton of questions about my recent hair care and my shower care, I guess, routine. So I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite products recently. So I've been loving Lucetta. I talk about Lucetta a lot on my channel. I've used their purple shampoo before, but I recently switched over to using their rose oil collection lately and I've loved it just because I don't want to use purple shampoo every single time I do wash my hair. So I like to switch between these two different collections. It just makes my hair feel so soft, moisturized, and volumized at the same time, which is amazing. And it's also sulfate and paraben free, so you're not getting any of that nasty stuff in your body and I've been really trying to switch over to using more natural products for my hair as well as my skin so if you guys are interested I will have links down below but there are some other products that I love to use from them too and I'll talk about that in a second and then I just wash my face using my Curology cleanser and I head back right into my room to get started on doing my skincare and getting ready for my day. I really, really don't do much when it comes to skincare in the morning or even makeup just because I have found that being in Sydney, my skin is very hydrated here and just like the air makes it super moisturized and dewy. I love it. So I just use a moisturizer and an eye cream and a lip balm. And that is honestly all I do for my skincare. And then heading back to my hair care, I'm taking this Lucetta hair and body oil. It is so cool that it's also a body oil, so you can just easily spray it on your legs or anything to give them a nice shine, and you can also spray it in your hair, of course, and it gives my hair such a nice shiny glow to it. I love it, and it's a perfect detangler. Like, my hair can get kind of tangly once I shampoo and condition it, but this stuff changes the game and makes it feel so incredibly soft. So I will have all of the products linked down below. You guys can check out their rose oil line, but again, you know that I love the purple shampoo, so it's no surprise that this one is just as amazing and it's good for all color treated hair as well. And then before I head out for the day, of course, I got to take my vitamins. I just take a woman's multivitamin and then a probiotic as well because, you know, got to keep that gut healthy. <laughs> and then I just head over to my little mini fridge in my room and where I keep a majority of my food and just grab what I'm feeling for breakfast. It differs, you guys. No, when I'm at home, I love making like yogurt bowls with like a waffle and stuff and just like shazam it out. But today and ever since being in Australia, obviously I got to switch things up a little bit. So my breakfast is a little different. You guys will see it. It's kind of fun. But yeah, so I just pick out the things that I'm going to grab for breakfast, bring it down to the kitchen because I live in a dorm, as you may or may not know. And yeah, just whip up my breakfast and call it a day. Then when I'm just sitting and eating my breakfast, this is the time that I like to go on my phone and catch up a little bit because I don't like to get too consumed in my phone early in the morning because I find that either A, it stresses me out or B, I will lay in bed for, on my phone for too long or it'll like distract me while I'm at the gym. So I just like to do that while I'm eating breakfast. 
chilling out. Um, I'll respond to emails. I'll see like what assignments I have during the day. If I have a class that day, all sorts of things. And then once I'm finished, I just go wash my dishes and head back up to my room. Now it is time to get my stuff organized for the day. Today, luckily, I didn't have class, so I packed my bag and my friends and I headed to the beach. Obviously, every day is different, but yeah, my friends and I decided to go to the beach today and it was super fun, but that pretty much sums up my 6 a.m. morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.